completely transformed of just eating beef and, you know, um, <laughs> mostly beef, beef, butter, salt. And it, it was amazing how much, um, how much misinformation there is and how much dogma there is around everybody needs carbs. Carbs are good. Whole grains are good. Um, I even actually, I'm wearing, if you guys are watching it or you're, you're listening on the podcast, you can't see, but I'm wearing my, you know, eat meat, repeat shirt that has all the animals. I was recently at the airport going through T TSA and a woman stopped me and said, um, you don't look like you eat meat. And I said, ma'am, that's all I eat. That's all. It, it's just like, it's, there's, there's this weird, uh, misinformation and it continues to expound that if you're eating a lot of meat, that's bad for your heart. That's bad for your, um, everything really, you know, and obviously we address this in the book, you know, between mental health and diabetes. And my, my opinion, there's no food that is better for your health than meat. Like you said, if we can start every meal protein centric with those, you know, and we, and I'd love to talk about bioavailability too, but yeah, I just find that so interesting. And that I experienced that as well. When you work in d different areas, like I, as a dietitian, we get free unlimited, um, hot chocolate, soda, you know, <laughs> coffee with sugar. But if you want to actually have like eggs or whatever, you have to purchase it. So it's constant. There's this constant influx of free fat and free sugar, but not only is protein more expensive, but then it's also kind of dot, you know, kind of told that, Oh, it's, it's just not very good for you. And if you have it, you should have a very small amount. Yeah. That, that really sums up everything that's wrong with the system. It's like, it's, uh, it's demonized. And, and like you say, I'm more worried about people, what people are eating. That's not red meat. You know, what, what are you displacing that with? It's almost certainly going to be worse for you. And the economic factors are just huge. Uh, you know, it's like McDonald's, the, you know, the, uh, that burger patty gets weighed out to the gram. Like there's no way you're getting extra protein. <laughs> um, and that's just the way our whole society is, you know, the, the cereal, box costs more to manufacture than the cereal and it's just uh, uh you know and thank god michelle that we got some rds pushing back against this stuff so <laughs> i really appreciate that a lot um because uh <clears throat> we've been giving everybody the wrong message for a really long time and anything we can do to walk that back is great um i i think that uh if everybody like, if I could just snap my fingers and everybody hit like, you know, 30% of the calories from protein or something, the, the entire obesity epidemic would just collapse. And I, I feel like we just haven't done a, a good job as physicians and as RDs of um, highlighting that fact. And we just, we've really failed on that front. And uh, so that's, that's what I'm, that's, that's my biggest message right there is just having people get their protein percentage up. You, you know, one thing I thought about when you were saying that Ted was uh, like, if I go to the grocery store and I buy like the fattest cut of ground beef, it's going to be less per or less dollars per pound than if I get the leanest cut. So it's like by removing the fat from that, which I could easily do if I just cook that the fattest ground beef and then sieve out the fat, if I want to, I could get that lean ground beef that they're selling me for three, four bucks a pound more at the store. So it's almost like the removal of the fat actually, it increases the price of the, or if you, if you remove the fat and just give the protein, like the the product increases in price. So you're actually like taking away, like if there's like a negative value in some of the, the energy sources, it's so cheap. Yeah. Yeah. And I, and I, uh, it gets even more dramatic when you look at uh, chicken breasts and then when you look at mm -hmm. fish and then you look at like, you know, shrimp or lobster or just the, basically the leaner your protein gets, the more expensive it is. Filet mignon, super lean, super expensive, all the way up and down the chain, the, the leaner it gets, the more expensive it is. And I don't have anything against these lean proteins, but I think the fact that the leaner it is, the more expensive it is really highlights just um, how hard that is to do in our society and how easy it is to add carbs and fats. It just makes everything cheaper.